Alexa. Action. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Hum it. All right, be safe. What is it like after so many seasons coming back here? Well, I don't think you ever become desensitized to the beauty. It's, um, well, as you, as you can see around you, it's um, a unique location. It's beautiful. And after 17 years, it's almost become uh, somewhat a way of life. Uh, Alberta is an incredible, incredible province. But uh, it's still not point and shoot, you know. <laughs> it, as you can see with uh, the number of people it takes to make the show, that um, it can be kind of a grueling experience. Today's a nice day. Right. But the <laughs> weather can change in 15 minutes, so. I'm sure winter is less appealing to work in sometimes too. <laughs> we don't uh, get to winter. Right. We, we touched fall. on it, but we're usually out of here by December, so. A good call. <laughs> this year will be out here by the fall. Uh, the other side of this is, you know, this is 250th episode this season is an amazing accomplishment for any show, let alone a Canadian show. Uh, what does that mean to you and, and working on this show? Well, it means I'm close to 600 episodes now in my career. That's, uh, uh, you know, this has been a, in a business that's uh, very unpredictable at best. Um, where normally it's it's best to sort of uh, plan for the worst case scenario. It might be probably just a little worse than that. <laughs> um, it, it's hard to wrap your head around. Um, you know, I think. Well, I certainly feel very fortunate and um, and privileged to be working on it because. Uh, I really didn't have a lot of experience out here in, in the West when I started in 2007. Hmm. I'd been mostly a city guy or a studio guy in, in uh, Toronto or Vancouver or LA or San Diego. Hmm. So this had a, an, an effect on me when we started like it's having on you today. It's kind of breathtaking and overwhelming. But um, now it's come be something I really look forward to getting back to every year. Just the people and the environment that we're working in. It's hard to beat. We really should have the camera pointed in the other direction. Right. Here, let me walk around with you sure. to see if this works. Yeah. It's a little smoky today. But it is Maybe astonishing. The foothills are rocky. And that's pointing west right now. So. Yeah. And there's our famous Heartland Ranch that we managed to uh, <laughs> managed to keep for 17 seasons, considering it's Which owned by Which is also a, impressive. <laughs> yeah, it is. Consider it's owned by a gentleman who could probably care less whether we were here or not. <laughs> um, but yeah, that landscape never gets old, does it? It's true. Well, what is in store for the Fleming family this season, what can you tell me about, about what's coming up? I don't know. They, uh, they never tell me anything. <laughs> um, I know what's, what's been done, what we filmed, and um, I think for the fans of the show, we're probably introducing a few new characters right. that, they'll, that they'll enjoy, and uh, there'll be more of of the characters that they've come to to love, hmm. with the exception of my character, who uh, unfortunately is for them is still in the show. I know many of them would like to see Tim dead. Oh no, I I, <laughs> I, I heard some fans talking at the fan day, and they were they were very well, happy. I wasn't looking for a compliment. You. I'm very serious. When you play the antagonist, you, <laughs> you tend to have mixed reactions. It's kind of fun, as I've always said. You know, I don't like Tim very much, but I love playing him. Right. So. Well, that was my other question. I mean, what is it like after, you know, this number of seasons and getting to, to dig into who he is when he's he's definitely different than a lot of the other characters? Yeah, well, you know, fortunately for both of us, me and Tim, uh, he's evolved 
over the years. And um, I think the biggest change came when he finally was married. Right. And um, my my wife Jessica, played by Michelle Nolden, who is an exceptional person to work with and exceptionally talented. We're so lucky to have her. And that, you know, we call it the Heartland Horseshoe. But things seem to just work out for us in our favor, weather-wise, script-wise, casting-wise. And in that case, the Heart Heartland Horseshoe was at work because uh, we're very lucky to have Michelle. I am, I'm really lucky to have her as a partner at work. But that relationship changed. Tim's behavior changed when he married uh, Jessica. And I've enjoyed that, that subtle change. And I think the fans are... Uh, are appreciative of it too. Taking a bit of the edge off of Tim, although he right. still has it in there. He's always willing to uh, pick a fight, but <laughs> um, Jessica has him thinking twice before he does. Right. You know. So that's evolved, and um, I don't know. Every year it gets a little tougher for me to get on the horse <laughs> <laughs> with my. Uh, bad back and sore knees, but I still do it, and I, and I enjoy it. What, uh, can you hint at anything that we're going to see from Tim this, this season? Uh, I, can't, I can't really no. give you, no, I can't really give you anything specific other than he, he's, I think the thing you have to, uh, well, I think the, the, the viewers of the show have always understood that as much as Jack and Tim, uh, you know, bump up against each other, they don't, um, Tim loves him right. and uh, is the first to protect Jack hmm. in situations. And I think maybe I've tried to be more aware of that this year, me personally, in, in the scenes that I'm, I'm in with, with Sean hmm. playing Jack. Uh, but I really can't give you specifics. That's fair. That happens. <laughs> what can you say about working with people like Amber and, and all these other people? I mean, Amber, someone said at the, the, well, the fan day that, you know, she's the true cowboy on set. Uh, you know. Well, I mean, I, I've never known in my entire career an actor that in, ended up wearing their costume home. Right. It's very rare in our business. I mean, if you play a doctor or a nurse, right. you don't go home as a doctor or a nurse. Um, so it's, in answer to your question, Amber's in a, a very unique, almost unheard of position as an actor. And uh, I think it's been nothing less than extremely beneficial for all of us that the character she plays is a person that she'd like to be in real life because it could be the opposite had she had dreams of playing right. Queen Elizabeth we might not be into year 17 so I'm all for it uh, but the rest of us you know I, I live in Ontario and um the rest of us all live somewhere else, mm -hmm. and uh, so I, you know, I, I'm, I'm playing a character, and I, I love the character. I love playing the character, and I love the setting. So I think that would be the same for everybody else. Well, did I answer your question? Yeah. No, that's amazing. Well, the last thing I ask you is, you know, what uh, the the show. The fans want so much more. They want to do 20. Are you are you in it for 20? Oh yeah, no, I'm gonna ride this horse into the sunset. Um, I, I be honest, for me personally, um, there is no better job in this business I've been in for 34 years. Hmm. This is as good as it gets, and um, for me, so. Absolutely. I, I, yeah, I don't plan on going anywhere. Or, no, I'll, uh, and, you know, heck, we've 
I kind of I, I swam this far across the lake. I'm not going to turn back now. <laughs> I got to get to the other side of this. So it's um, I'm a lifer. Amazing. Yeah. It could possibly be the last thing I ever do too. So. Well, thank you very much for the time. Especially if we go 20. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's it's a pleasure watching you on screen. Oh, thanks.